Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about. From our first inbox look at the upcoming 2024 Holiday Skeleta doll, we have new pictures of a Mega Bloxx Draculaura playset, new pictures of the Wednesday Netflix dolls and more so stay tuned, subscribe and let's get into okay, it. Okay so first up let's take a look here at the brand new Mega Bloxx playset for Draculaura called the Boo K book, you know, book crypt. Um, now, if you remember, we're also getting a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Frankenstein uh, diary little playset that's very, it's basically the same in style and design, like the opening of the, like it's almost like a book opening, you know, um, it's the same design in that aspect. Um, and I believe even the packaging is very similar in size and design. So um, these two playsets definitely um, go hand in hand with like, they're probably like from the same collection. Uh, just that, you know, the Frankenstein one is exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con and will be, you know, harder to get. Uh, but she will also be available on Mattel Creations if you are interested for 40 US dollars, I believe. I don't think she's going to be t more expensive than that because it is just a Mega Blocks playset. Um, you know, Mega playset. Uh, it's like Lego, but you know, Mega. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, you know, remember because they used to make Monster High playsets back in the day with all these cute little figures. Um, they stopped, and now I guess they're back at it again now with this Draculaura playset as well. Um, like I mentioned, very similar design, opening, book opening, very cute. You know, honestly, uh, there's a little light up feature. Obviously, comes with a Draculaura little mini figure, mini doll. Um, I was always like so intrigued by these little mini dolls, but they're really small, probably, and so not really worth getting a whole place at four uh but you know it does have her little bed it's like her chambers right like her bed her bedroom uh we have also like her like vanity i guess and also like her sbf you know like sunscreen um and her little pom-pom so you know there's a lot of details definitely like very cute um but i, I believe this is gonna cost also like 40 us dollars if not like probably cheaper i don't know uh not too expensive i mean it is a you know pretty small playset but uh, it's still a really cute really cute little design i do wonder if that means that we're gonna get like more in this collection like is there gonna be uh, like a little a book diary playset like this for every character like claudine laguna cleo um i definitely do think like there's gonna be uh perhaps like a like a a market for this because obviously the book design is very clever and you know mega might be pop i mean i, I really don't know <laughs> but i think the mega blocks places for monster high used to be popular but then it just you know monster high obviously got you know they g2 happened and stuff so uh but now we're back so maybe this means that we're gonna get regularly you know more mega blocks play sets in the future i don't know but you know if it's more like this it's definitely like very intriguing uh, but i hope that they also do more with perhaps g3 and um you know perhaps also more you know open designs that are not just you know little books although i do think that's really fun but it just makes me want like perhaps like an actual doll playset that's like styled this way like a book diary opening playset uh very almost very similar to what they did with the ever after high homecoming um book playset you know like home home whatever that's called like it's a homecoming right uh you know with briar uh she came in the um the place that you know like at the book spine uh with the bed and i i have that place it so to me that that would make sense like if they would make like monster high themed like book places like that that open up and then you can like you know set up your whole bedroom or whatever because to me you know like mega blocks it's cute but it's smaller in size obviously it's like you know they're little bricks and you know like little studs and stuff so easier to lose i feel like a full-on doll size place like this would be better and it would just you know i mean yeah i don't know for me that would be more interesting but uh this is definitely like really moving cute. on yes the new monster high uh g1 lore book you know once bitten twice dead is out soon or out now uh definitely coming out very soon so if you're interested in getting the book check on over to the official monster high you know instagram or check you love it.com or just check like your bookstore and see if they have it in stock if it's already on shelves if not you know ask someone um you know i mean <laughs> it's what i would do uh so because i mean this book definitely looks very interesting because you know obviously this book um you know we saw it leak a while ago and you know from the little plot synopsis we understood that uh you know a lot of stuff is going down apparently like Laguna got boiled alive um you know the denials are taking over Monster High Draculaura is turning back human um 
you know a lot of crazy stuff happening so is it really that crazy i don't know let me know if you if you have this book please give me like a little rundown bullet points of like is it like actually that crazy or you know just you know is that just like an algo just an agomination of all of the crazy things that happen in the story but they're not really that crazy overall like the, the like the whole story is not that crazy um i don't know because i mean i feel like this it can't be true right like g1 canon like laguna got boiled like how is that pg <laughs> I mean, I know that I know that Monster High is catering towards like the like Monster High G1 alumni is, you know, more for like adult collectors. But still, even then, like, come on, like, are you telling me like Laguna getting boiled like she dies? Like, that's OK. What? <laughs> like, that's, I feel like that's really, you know, dark. Jesus, you know, like, so, um, but they do go in a lot of mature themes. Um, and I specifically saw like this post by Monster High Re Retro. Uh you know highlighting a certain line in the book where the ghouls talk about deuce's um appendage and how he named it what <laughs> i never thought we'd see this kind of lingo this kind of dialogue in monster high ever it's just it's very you know adult i guess so yeah it just surprised me but um yeah <laughs> yeah i know uh so very very curious indeed this book is definitely very intriguing to me uh will i get it probably not because i just i don't read anymore i just my my attention span is like ugh, so bad um but again please if you have the book just like let me know like <laughs> like the highlights <laughs> you know just like give me a rundown of like all the really juicy stuff and like what actually ends up happening in the end because like i really doubt that Draculaura is going to turn back human because then she wouldn't be a monster and then that would defeat the whole mon the, the whole purpose of like monster high you know Draculaura, daughter of dracula like no she's not going to be Draculaura once Dra you know dracula's daughter and now human like no that's not the same thing so <laughs> i doubt that that's actually gonna stick um and laguna like boiled alive like i i bet you that's like just um i bet you that's not actually what happens and that's just like maybe like a like um the way that they phrased it you know like it just got mis misunderstood i don't know i i really doubt that laguna's gone like forever come on come on like they're never gonna make dolls of her again Pfft, come on <laughs> moving on it seems that everyone's finding the new g3 fear book dolls in store so to me that feels like you know this line will be a success and so it wouldn't surprise me if they would keep making fear book dolls almost as like an ongoing series like with some series that they used to do in g1 you know like they would keep making dolls of so um i feel like who would be a good uh, fit for a fear book a uh, doll i would definitely love to see you know abby venus um frankie laguna uh, honestly like a, a, a lot of the characters <laughs> but also some of the monsters like manny perhaps i would love to see like keith you know like there's just so many possibilities that they could go in like interesting directions for like the you know like um the theming of like the class that they're going in uh, it, like, you know, like, fear book, like, what are they doing? What's the theme? You know, like, Draculaura has movies, Torlai has music, um, Twyla has, like, game boards. So, like, what would the theme be for other characters? So, definitely, I would think that's has potential who would you like to see get uh, added into the you know fear book line in g3 moving on yes we have finally a inbox look here at the upcoming holiday skeleta doll for this year now obviously we, we already had one for last year and um i remember at the time i just felt very underwhelmed by her a lot of people seem to like her i don't know sometimes i feel like am i crazy like to me she's just very simple i didn't really see what like she had to offer um especially for like like a collector doll her dress her everything just seemed so like so simple definitely not collector definitely like more playline you know like just you know very simple um especially for like a holiday you know dia de los muertos themed doll like you would just expect something grand something more expressive something more big you know like um and finally with this year's skeleta doll it seems they are actually you know getting it right because this one actually looks grand the new one she looks great i like the hat alone amazing 
you know, it is plastic, but of course, you know, that's in when there's a plastic hat, they are able to, you know, get more details in there. Um, and usually with Monster High hats, it's plastic, unfortunately, but at least it looks good. Well molded details, love the feathers or whatever she has on top, the flowers, you know, like it's just, it has different colors as well. Um, really fun. The dress, it has layers. We have the like the, I forget what they're called, but the panels, the colorful panels are like different actual, uh, they're inspired by actual like uh, paper decorations from the actual uh, event. So uh, it's definitely like all of these details, they're actually inspired by real life things. So that's also, you, you can actually see like, oh yeah, you know, like the creativity here is actually like, it's here. <laughs> um, I love the bell. Like, I just feel like, you know, at least this dress, it's it's giving, it's giving layers. It's giving like color, colorful. You know, I feel like the Dia de los Muertos is such a colorful event. And, 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 you know, like, I feel like the first one, it was just not colorful. You know, her dress was just very plain. So um, this one finally, yes, it's, it's actually giving. It's actually giving, like, I feel like what we should have gotten last year's with with last year's doll so finally you know it seems with this year you know skeleta is actually gonna you know eat she's she's gonna look good she's gonna look good <laughs> so that mean that makes me feel like what what's gonna happen for next year you know like if they're gonna do uh, a new you know holiday skeleta doll for every year you know i wonder how next year's doll will look like um like will will she look even better how can that be possible so i guess we'll have to wait and see also i love her heels like that you can't see it here but um there's like the heels apparently are like candle wax or something so so fun you're like just who thinks of that like seriously so so such rich in details um and not to even mention like the box design so detailed is so much better so much more unique looking than the original box uh like here all the butterflies all the colors like the actual like whoever did the artwork for the background like amazing work like it just all really looks great you know i feel like this actually looks grand and and probably worth its price you know like the other one you know a little expensive but uh here you could argue yeah no it's it, she, she could be worth the price you know and then yes lastly we have some more real life pictures of the brand new wednesday netflix dolls now previously we had our first look at the enid doll and here we have some more close-up looks at enid in even higher quality and here we'll also see how the two dolls look side by side because like i like i initially thought you know their boxes with the window um backdrop they actually line up when you put them together they actually form the stained glass window full circle from the animated series one half being colorful on Enid's box and one half being, you know, just like normal with Wednesday's box. Like just how iconic, like I do love that attention, the detail, like that definitely makes me feel like, okay, I guess these are more of like a higher end collector level purchase because they're not really playline. They do have more details like that to offer that, you know, most playline dolls do not so um you know they are they don't have too many accessories they each have a bag um they each have a stand a doll stand um that seems to be it <laughs> so i, I kind of wish that they would have had like a diary especially because you know of the back of the box having a little entry for each character that definitely makes me feel like you know they could have they could have you know you know written that little like two a couple of entries for like a, a little mini diary like they could have done that i feel like you know but they didn't so whatever um but i yeah these two are definitely like really cute if you're wondering when they're gonna come out because a lot of people are finding them don't worry they're not already out they're not already released people are just finding them early in stores um in canada and so forth um so they the official release date is in august so you know don't worry don't worry you're not missing out they're not gonna they're gonna come out in a month so um august like 19th or so definitely and if you don't live in the u.s um then you know fall time you should probably see them you know amazon links available uh because these are going to be available on amazon as well um except for perhaps the you know raven dress wednesday doll because she's supposed to be more expensive or more like you know deluxe so let's see if she's also available on amazon i think so yeah i think they're all like supposed to be like very you know like accessible dolls they're not they're not supposed to be like limited edition or anything like that they're supposed to be like you know you know, very mass produced. They're mass produced. So uh, I don't think there's going to be a shortage 
I hope not because <laughs> they do look really cute you like I I, I thought initially like maybe I wouldn't like them um, Wednesday I think definitely looks good I just wish her skin tone would have been a little bit you know a little bit more tan um, I do like her freckles uh, I like her braids I like her inspired you know uniform right from the series um but enid is actually like so cute i love her pieces and i feel like because it's not very like they are monster high themed but they're not specific to like um wednesday netflix you know like they you could put these outfit pieces on other characters and it wouldn't look too obvious that they're you know that they're from the series so i feel like they have more um you know reusability when it comes to uh, you know mix and match um also i love pink and she's pink so <laughs> um and i actually i actually think her face looks cute like her face is cute um the beret is plastic i do feel like you know they could have done a little fabric beret moment um but they've only done that with draculaura hunt couture so you know yeah there you go but she's really cute like honestly i am surprised like they do look good it's just they are a little bit expensive for what you're actually getting they are 40 bucks for the us dollars each um and the raven dress wednesday doll will be 60 or so so you know they're not cheap um but hopefully because they are mass produced you know they will go on sale sooner you know they will have sales and, and you know whatever so uh let's see but i, I definitely i'm pleasantly surprised you know like at, especially by wednesday uh and and you know ina too because she's pink and i honestly i love both and just the fact that you know when they are in box they do mac they do you know um make the 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 you know the window i feel like that detail is just so iconic like of course they would of course they would it's so obvious but yeah they thought of it it's iconic it really looks amazing um and it definitely makes me feel like you know yeah they might be worth the price but i don't know they're still expensive and that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses Thank you.